In this video, we're going to look at the amines functional group for level 2 organic chemistry. Amines all have a NH2 group as shown. Some examples of amines are as follows. Now to name the amine molecules, I'm going to look at the alkane part of the molecule first. And I'm going to do that by showing it to you using an orange highlight. And the first one, the orange part, the alkane part, is called propane. And the second one, it's also propane. But in the third one, it's called 2-methylbutane. Now, if you're not sure how to name alkanes, I suggest you watch the alkanes video first before you decide to go any further with naming amines. Anyway, in this first example here, the amine functional group is at the first carbon atom. So using the amino prefix, I could call this 1-aminopropane. In the second example, the functional group's on the second carbon atom, so that's 2-aminopropane. In the third example, the amine functional group is at the third position, so it's 3-amino-2-methylbutane. It's at the third position because I numbered it from 1 to 4 going left to right. Now if I had chosen to use the suffix amine ending, then these are the other alternative names which I've got in purple. It's your pick, neither is better than the other. Now some properties of amines is that they're bases and they'll turn moist red litmus paper blue just like all other bases. Now amines also form complex ions with copper 2 plus so if I take any amine and react with copper 2 plus the first thing I stick down on my paper is a big square bracket to signify that it's a complex ion with copper 2 plus. I need 2 plus at the top right hand corner and a little 4 down there some curly brackets. Now don't let that scare you because all you're going to do is you're going to take the amine you started with and literally copy it into the curly brackets. It doesn't matter which amine it is, just copy it into the curly brackets. Nice and easy. Now the observation for this is that copper 2 plus is a blue solution, but once it forms a complex ion it turns dark blue. Now you might be wondering why this equation might be important to you. Think of it this way, if you need to provide a chemical test to distinguish between amines and something else, and you need an equation to get an E, this is an equation which will get you your ticket. Well, litmus paper doesn't really have an equation for it, unless of course you've done acid and bases or your other external as well. 